The biggest difference and the biggest question difference is like the curved back versus the flat back brushes. So obviously you can see like the curve with this one versus a flat back with this one. <laughs> you can tell I use it a lot. <laughs> so, um, and those are, that's your key difference. Obviously there's different length pins, different curves to pins, like a million different ways to make a slicker brush. Um, but your key factor that you're looking for is that flat back versus the curved back. So if you want to go into, I can see it in your face, you want to tell us all about why there's a difference. I just learned recently this wasn't, a lot of people didn't know this, so you have a flat back slicker, okay? You use it on a dog, and they have, you have a curved back slicker, okay? When they came out with a curved back slicker, they didn't have long pins like this. The principle behind it actually was, is you flip this around in your hand like this, so it fits in the palm of your hand, and you, and you come to a dog's feet, I'm gonna move here, <laughs> and you roll out like this. And when you roll out, pulls that hair completely out, and you can trim all the way around. So that's the purpose, the original purpose of a curved back was to fit in the back of your hand. If you go to a, a, a dog show, you'll see the handlers, and they'll have their dogs on the table, and you'll see them flip it around, go around, and then they do use them like this. But that is the principal purpose of why that was invented. And then some changes happened for the longer pins here. But before I get into that, um, you like to groom poodles. Mm. If you were line brushing a dog, which one would you use and why? So I do 100% of my fluff work. So anything that I'm using, if I want that coat, a curly coat, wavy coat, whatever, if I want it straight and I want it standing up, so like all of my standard poodles when I'm competing, I 100% use a flat back. Because to me, when I'm, when I'm starting to brush this, I can get down to the skin and I can pull it out straight because I have a straight back. It's, and the idea is that you want that coat to be straight, so it makes sense to use something straight. Um, I would like a nice short pin so it's nice and firm so it can actually grab that coat down at the skin and really separate it out. I find when I'm using something like this, it's good for you know like double coats and things like that to get coat separated, but it's not going to straighten the coat like the other ones will for me. Because um, if I grab here, it's it's not going to grab that coat at the base and really pull it out. Is what I found. So 100%, I use the flat back. And to iterate, if you guys don't know what line brushing is, a very simple way to explain it is you would take the dog and you lay the dog on its side, and with heat you work the coat down and you're straightening it out. If you go to like PCA, you'll see hundreds of Poodle poodles. Poodle Club of America. Sorry, Poodle Club of America. <laughs> um, they'll be on their side and they'll be bringing the coat down. They all use flat backs. And of course that's for well-trained dogs. Me personally, so it's not, I do not have a dog that lays down on its side. But the idea is that you're going <coughs> line by line through the coat, separating the coat out um, so that you're getting each <coughs> layer of coat really dry and, and really straight. So. But yeah, that, and then after that, you're just getting into different pin lengths, pin designs, handle designs, comfort, you know, what feels good to you. Just because I like a certain brush does not mean the next person down is going to like a certain brush. It's, it really comes down to, you know, what I'm doing, what I'm doing it for. Um, I like a softer, like this one has a little more of a cushy back, and I like using that more for like the softer, you know, like the puppies and dogs with a little less of a firm coat. When I need like a firm, thick coat to be straightened, I'm going to use a nice firm brush but you know it's also just kind of training I train all of my like beginning bathers and beginning groomers on a softer brush because it's really easy to brush burn with those firm brushes so it's all just sort of a learning curve figuring out what, what works for you